If you want to run Facebook ads to begin getting buyer leads for very affordable prices, then it is no secret that the best way to do that is by advertising your own listings and then collecting the data from those leads that come in as buyers. But what if you don't have any listings? A lot of agents feel like they don't have any listings to advertise, so there's no point of doing Facebook ads, but I'm going to show you how through Keller Williams command, you can actually run Facebook ads without having a single listing of your own. And and you could also get these leads for really affordable prices of anywhere from one to two dollars which is what I'm seeing so I'm gonna show you exactly how this is done so all you need to do is follow along through this tutorial and I'm gonna show you how you could be running these campaigns and beginning to get these leads with this strategy you could use this to get buyer leads for one to two dollars which is a huge savings and could be a huge value to you and your business so all I ask for in return is that you subscribe to this channel for more free value just like this all right guys so the first thing that you're gonna do is log into Keller Williams command and from your dashboard you're going to go to campaigns which is this logo right here and then when you get there what you're gonna do is click create campaign and we're gonna do a social ad paid we're doing paid Facebook ads so uh, you're just gonna enter a name and this is for your reference so let's just say no listings add your goal is going to be uh, just for tracking purposes so let's say attract buyers and we're going to run it on facebook right so so from here what most agents would do is put a beautiful photo of one of their listings with some ad copy to attract some buyers to click and share their information now this is a really good strategy probably the best to get buyer leads on Facebook but right now we don't have a listing so what we're gonna do since we don't have a listing is we're gonna create an ad based on a search criteria that's in your market so what do I mean by this? I mean that you're basically going to attract buyers by sending them to a link that has all the listings in a particular price range or a particular area of interest that you wish to advertise in. So what I'm going to do in my area is multifamily homes that are under a million dollars in Queens. So in my area of Queens right now, most of the multifamily homes are well over a million dollars. So now this is gonna link the buyers to homes that are under a million and for a buyer I would imagine that this is a really big value because they're probably seeing a lot of multifamily homes that are over a million so right now I'm showing them everything that's under a million dollars that they can comfortably afford so they're gonna be clicking on that and going into there and trying to see what's available and this is where we capture the leads the type of ad that we're going to create is going to be one that's based on a search criteria within your market so this is going to attract buyers that are looking for a specific something in your area preferably a type of property that you want to sell and what we're going to do is basically link them to a list of properties that are for sale so instead of marketing a single property, we're going to create this ad for a specific search criteria that a buyer may be looking for within your market. So now they're not just gonna be sent to one home, but they're gonna be sent to a link that features many of the homes that are for sale within those specific parameters that you set forth in your ad copy. So for me right now, in one of my markets of Queens, New York, the two family homes are usually over a million dollars. So what I'm going to do is create an ad for multifamily homes that are listed for sale under a million dollars and now this is going to catch the attention of potential leads because if they're looking for a two family then they know that most of the homes for sale are over a million so they may see this and say oh look homes for sale under a million. Let me check this out. What's over here? You want to spark some curiosity in them. So really they just share their contact information. That's the most important part that you capture their contact information. So you're able to contact them and now you have a lead that you can call and you can work with. So now for the photo, and this is a very important part because you want to capture the attention. You have such limited time to do this. So what I like to do is basically just get some stock footage of a home and then put Put some text that's eye-catching that displays what your list is about so I just like to use Canva for this and what I did is just take a beautiful picture that I'm allowed to use of a renovated kitchen and then put multifamily under 1 million I put the red border with the white text 
so that this way it captures the attention of potential leads. So you could put whatever it is that you're targeting, $500,000 homes in Las Vegas, whatever it may be, that's what you're going to put as the tagline. And then this jumps out to them. And the good thing is that you could use a photo of any kind of house because you're not representing a listing. So it could be something that's really beautiful just to capture the attention. So now let's go into the text and you can really play around with this and do whatever main copy you want. But for me, I like to keep it short and sweet. You want to make it so that it catches their attention right away. So I'm going to get right into what this is about and I'm going to put in all caps Queens multifamily homes for sale. Then I like to use some emoji as well. So what I'm going to do is a home and a little fire emoji. Emojis work well because they make it a little more animated and it's just better than static text that doesn't really give any type of color. So I like to keep it short and simple. So my next line is gonna be right into the call to action. And then we're gonna add more emojis. We're gonna add the down, because we want them to click learn more, right? Click learn more for all homes under 1 million. So they're gonna see this and it gets right to the point. Queens multifamily homes under 1 million. Headline, that's gonna be the big text at the bottom so i'm going to write something like don't miss out and then for the description i'm going to write click learn more for your full list of homes just reminding them of that call to action you want them to click learn more so that they can get prompted to enter their information and now media, this refers to the picture in your ad. So very important, we're gonna use the image that I just created in Canva. So we're gonna add the image, we're gonna upload it, and we're just gonna drag it in right here. So we're going to set it. I set it perfectly, so when you design it, if you want the square placement, which I recommend, just do it like that so you don't have anything to worry about. We're gonna save it. And here's my ad. It's really simple actually. Queens multifamily homes for sale. Click learn more for all homes under a million. So it's telling the leads exactly what they're getting. The text is colorful with the caps and the emojis. The picture is nice. It's eye catching. I like the text on the copy as well. Don't miss out adds a sense of urgency. So hopefully they click learn more and enter their information. So now we're gonna go to Facebook settings and from here, you're gonna pick your account and your business page, which you should already have linked to command. But next, you're gonna pick the destination. And for this, I'm always gonna recommend that you go with the Facebook lead generation form, not the site or landing page, because Facebook lead generation form, that's gonna mean that as soon as someone clicks on your ad, they're gonna be prompted to Facebook's page where they could enter their information automatically from their phone. It's a lot less likely that someone's going to go to your website and enter their information manually. It's much more likely to capture them if you go with the Facebook lead generation form. But after they enter their information, you're going to still need to bring them to a landing page. And this is where you need to deliver on your promise. So you promise them that you're going to send them houses in a specific criteria. So you need to be linking them there. So we're going to go over that in a little bit about what website URL to use and how we're going to create that. But now we have audience. So this is where Facebook has changed recently because they do an auto audience now where Facebook will automatically choose the best audience for your ad. And this is definitely recommended because Facebook knows best as to who to target and who's interested in what with how strong their algorithms have been getting lately. So what you're going to do for this is basically all you need to do is put your location so for me it's going to be queens new york because that's who this ad is for and then you're going to set the radius to 15 miles that's the least that you could do but 15 miles is still a pretty wide range so you want to keep it to that 15 and be able to capture those leads so next we have lead settings which you can auto tag these leads and you can also assign them to a smart plan as soon as they come in you don't have to do this but if you like to organize your leads like this then you could tag them as buyer leads or facebook leads 
or whatever it is that's going to help you. And if you want to assign them to a smart plan so they can begin being followed up with immediately, then you can go ahead and do that as well. If you create a custom smart plan specifically for these leads as soon as they come in. So next, you're going to set your duration and your budget. So let's say we set this for 10 days and we do $30 a day. That would be $3 a day. Now, generally, I recommend doing $5 a day at least so that this way it gets enough traction where Facebook is kind of seeing who is best and who is not the best to send it to. So you want to give them enough spend so that they could distribute your content. So $5 a day, you could do five days for $25. I think 10 days is good because it gives the algorithm time to kind of pick up on who's the best lead for you and who's actually giving you their information and then sending that out to similar profiles as well. So you could save that and now we're almost done, but don't forget we need to fix that landing page and we need to create it. So what we're gonna do now is this, you're gonna go to your Keller Williams website, which for me it's marios.kw.com. So this is the website that Keller Williams has created for you. And then you're just gonna enter your search in there. So you're gonna go Queens, New York, right? That's my market. And you're basically gonna find them exactly what it is that you said that would be included in that list. So over here for me, I go property type, I go multifamily, right? Any multifamily in Queens. So you see on the map, we have Queens fully bordered off. And then what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go price and we're gonna set the maximum price at $1 million, done. A million dollars or less in Queens. So as you can see, they have 349 options. Obviously, it's still a wide array of options, but the most important thing is that we got their contact information. So they get directed here to your page where they could see all these listings. And let's say they like a property. Let's say they click on something like this and then they go to it. This is from your page. So another added benefit is that they could contact you directly from your website to ask, ask you a question or request a tour of this property. But that's not the important part. The important part is that you get their contact information from Facebook so that they become a lead that you could follow up with. But this is really simple on how you create that search. So what you're gonna do is basically go back to that search that you created so this is a really cool place to direct the leads to, but you could also narrow this down. If you want to just do one town and do $500,000 homes or less, you can criteria by beds and bathrooms. You could do homes that have been price reduced. There's like just so many filters here that you could do. Has parking, outdoor amenities, price reduced in the last seven days. This is a great ad that I know a lot of people are using. So I could have done homes, multifamily homes under a million dollars that went through a price reduction, something like that. And all these homes are recently price reduced. It's a much narrower search. So now they could feel like these people are a little more motivated because they've been on the market. They reduced the price. They're still under a million dollars. Maybe I'll find my deal over here. But anyways, that's besides the point. What you're going to do is basically copy this link now of the main search. And this is going to be your link because this is where you're directing them to. So you're going to go back to your campaign and you're going to paste this link as the URL. So what you're going to do from here is just click publish. I'm not going to do it for the sake of this video because it was just a test, but just like that really quickly in really five to 10 minutes, you could create this ad that looks very inviting, very eye catching and provides a lot of value to your leads. So you do not need your own listing to create a Facebook ad. And now you're able to target whatever buyer you want, even if you don't have any market share in a specific area, you can go into 
to any town that you want and run ads for buyers in that town and show them all the listing inventory, even if it's not yours. You're not directly advertising any other broker's listing. You're just sending them to a resource that has all the listings that are currently for sale and are fed through the MLS IDX. So this is perfectly allowed and this is a great strategy to really get started on Facebook ads. If you don't have the momentum yet of having your own listings, then this could be a great strategy for you to implement to begin getting your Facebook leads and start converting them into closed sales. So I hope you found a lot of value in this. Once again, you could use this to make tens of thousands of dollars in commissions. And all I ask for in return is that you subscribe to this video for more real estate content. And if you do have a listing and you wanna know the best way to run a Facebook ad through command for that listing to not only promote it, but also to attract buyer leads, then you'll wanna watch this video over here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.